Mm. Going on, got. I don't even have to say we Damn. left off. I better rewind. That's where we left off. Are you crying? Move. Melissa, move your head. If you insist, Max. Now that's what I'm talking about. I actually helped somebody. Hey yo. I got cereal. I'm hungry as shit. So if y'all hear me eat my bed. But yeah, welcome back to Life is Strange part. I don't even know. But yeah, let's get right back to it. Get lost, hipster. I'm not doing any interviews. Fine, dick mouth. You got a message. A little bit. Hi, whore. Hope you enjoyed the pick. It's your last one. I'm not supposed to go this way. I don't know how I'm a whore. Call me a whore, but you the main whore. I'm not even a side whore. Oh yeah, he said go to the parking lot. Let go. So don't think I'm blind. I see everything here at Blackwell. Do you understand what I'm saying? No, and leave me alone. Hey, why don't you leave her alone? Excuse us, this is official campus business. Excuse me, you shouldn't be yelling at students or bullying them. Hey, hey, nobody is bullying anybody. I'm doing my job. No, you're not. You're part of the problem, Missy. I will remember this conversation. I don't give a fuck what you remember. Oh, Max, that was great. I think you scared him for once. I have to go, but thank you. It means a lot. Anytime, Kate. You tell me you think I scared him. I felt like an everyday hero helping Kate, but now Officer Man, who gives a fuck? Dickhead is after me. No. He's scared of me here now. He don't know I got powers. He don't know what I can do. I'm glad I stepped in that time. Can't stand to see people being bullied. Yeah, who can? Graffiti. Is that Rachel again? At least Rachel Amber has people oh who care God. about her. I'm tired of seeing that shit. Get your ass over here. You shut your ass up. What up, Max? How are you? Here's your flash. Thanks. No problem. Check out my new wheels. This cool. shit, wait. Very old school. 1978 to be exact. Now we can go to the drive-in. There's one in Newburgh just I'm not sucking miles away. You're in the wrong time. She's not sucking your dick. But then, so am I. You okay? It's been one strange fucking day. Man, I saw that Victoria didn't take down that pic of you on Facebook. Major bitch move. No worries. No worries, Warren. I took a sweet shot of Victoria I can't wait to share. Oh, score one for Team Max. It would be so karmic to see her ass clown face all over the interwebs. I guess she does deserve it for all the shitty things she's done to people here. By the way, I saw Daniel's sketch of you online. Not bad, but I could do a much better job. You can draw? I thought you were blinded by science, not art. Art is science. Music is math, etc., etc. I'd put Stephen Hawking against Picasso any day. Hardcore. So you must use a computer to draw. Of course. I'd love to tweak one of your selfies with some cool graphics. That might not suck. I'll let you know. So did you get a chance to check out the movie booty on my flash drive? Yeah. Yeah, thanks. You had some cool shit on there, from Akira to Twilight Zone, which seems apropos today. I consider myself a pop 
cultural pirate connoisseur. That does sound better than thief. Ha ha. Make sure you watch Cannibal Holocaust. No fucking way. No fucking way will I watch that. My mind is twisted enough. I laughed my ass off. So really? you're sensitive. Ouch, that sounds awful the way you say it. How so? How so? Sensitive usually means won't be having sex with you. Oh god. You need a sensitive woman to kick your ass. If I was lucky. Speaking of hip and fast, we should cruise out in my car to an actual movie this week. But you seem distracted. I need to talk to somebody. Just to get it out of my system. Dr. Warren Graham is in the house. I won't even prescribe you any meds. Tell me everything. For reals, Warren. This is between you and me. Not social media. Don't insult me. Max, go on. I had this incredibly bizarro experience in Mr. Jefferson's class today. I mean, life-changing. Have you ever had a dream so real it was like a movie? Max Caulfield, right? You're one of the Jefferson's photo groupies? I'm one of his students. What the fuck ever? I know you like to take pictures, especially when you're hiding out in the bathrooms. You best tell me what you told the principal, now. Answer me, bitch. I told him Who the, the truth. fuck you a talking to, nigga? No, you told him I had a gun. That's why he dragged me into his office. That's why I just said, dumbass. Did you a stern lecture? Nobody, nobody lectures me. Everyone tries, though. <laughs> they try. You should talk to somebody, Nathan. Do not analyze me. I pay people for that. Don't worry about yourself, Max Coffee. I could call the police. Do it! The Prescotts own the pigs here. Get away from her, dude! Hey! Leave him alone! Nobody tells me what to do! Not my parents, not the principal, that. or that whore Wait in the no. bathroom! You trying to kill me? Max? Chloe? No way. You again. Go! Go! I got this! You Max. got this, nigga. You getting your ass full. Get your punk asses out of there now! Don't even try to run! Nobody! Nobody! I oh, got that big ass scar on your fucking face. Man, Nathan Prescott is messed up and dangerous. This day never ends. Oh, and thanks, Chloe. After five years, you're still Max Caulfield. After five years, Don't you look like shit. Face. At least pretend you're glad to see me. I am seriously glad to see you. I'm not. Oh, and thanks, Chloe. It makes perfect sense I'd see you today. Yes, it's been that kind of day. So what did that freak want with you? Hopefully nothing after today. So... How do you know Nathan? He's just another Arcadia asshole. Your friend only took a beat down for you. Warren? Yeah, I owe him big time. You're not the only one in debt. And you're already causing trouble. I thought it would be quiet here. It feels so weird to be back. So I guess Seattle sucked hard? I guess. It was cool, but I felt kind of lonely out of my league. I would think you'd fit right in with the art school hipsters. Right. You look like the cover of hipstergirl.com. At least you're still a smartass. That's why I'm here. Please, girl. You came back for Blackwell Academy. Of course. It's one of the best photography programs in the country. And my favorite teacher, Mark Jefferson. So you came back to Arcadia for a teacher, not your best friend. Don't you think I'm happy to see you? No. You were happy to wait five years without a call or even a text. I'm sorry. I know things were tough on you when I left. How do you know? You weren't even here. I didn't order my parents to move specifically to fuck you over, Chloe. You've been at Blackwell for almost a month without letting me know. Enough said. I just wanted to settle in first and not be such a shy, cliche geek. I totally would have contacted you. I bet you don't use these sad excuses on Mr. Jefferson. 
Don't use them on me, Max. I absolutely do. Not everything changes. Except my camera has officially taken a shit. My step douche has a boatload of tools. Maybe you can fix it in my place. I need very specific tiny tools. Bird alert. My stepdad has a fully stocked garage. And he actually is a tiny tool. Welcome home, Max. Come on in, don't be shy. The house still looks nice. Home shit home. <laughs> home shit home, that's a new one. Alright, I'm ending right there. Don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, comment, share. I'm gonna finish this cereal. And I'll be back later. Peace.